Welcome everyone. Today, I'll walk you through this infographic on AI agent evolution in 2025. What we're witnessing is a transformative shift in how AI agents function, evolving from rigid task performers into adaptive, learning-driven collaborators. Let's dive into the key developments shaping this inflection point. Let's begin with the timeline. Initially, we had traditional ML and reinforcement learning agents like AlphaGo, systems that learned by interacting with their environment to develop strategies. Then, in 2023 and 2024, large language model, LLM, driven agents emerged. They mimicked human workflows and reasoning, but their actions were often rigid, mechanical even, and lacked true environmental learning. In 2025, we see a breakthrough, a fusion of the two. Today's agents can think, act, receive feedback, and adjust, forming a continuous learning loop. This integration marks the transition from simulation to genuine intelligence. Two major technologies are powering this shift. First, reinforcement fine-tuning, RFT, introduced by OpenAI, lets agents learn through exploration, even with minimal data. Second, enhanced coding capabilities, as seen in Anthropic's Sonnet 3.5, act as a universal adapter. Coding allows agents to plug into diverse digital environments, like an octopus connecting to different tools and systems. Here are some of the leading implementations. OpenAI's operator controls computer interfaces, while deep research handles complex information retrieval, both using RFT. In the coding space, Windsurf was acquired by OpenAI for $3 billion, and Cursor raised $900 million, massive endorsements of their potential. China's Manus, considered the first general AI agent in the region, is notable for its intuitive UI and memory features. In blue, we highlight vertical agents like Vantel for insurance and Gamma for presentations, examples of niche systems that thrive by deeply understanding specific domains. Two more drivers to highlight. Environment-specific training is now critical. Agents aren't just trained on text. They're fine-tuned to operate within their actual environments, whether that's a browser, IDE, or research system. And at the infrastructure level, Anthropic's MCP protocol aims to standardize agent interaction with web services and APIs. Adoption is still limited, but the groundwork is being laid for broader interoperability. Looking ahead, challenges remain. Data and platform silos limit access. Evaluation is still complex and evolving, and users often face cognitive overload in figuring out how best to prompt or guide agents. That said, there's huge potential, especially in small and beautiful vertical agents. These tools excel by mastering specific tasks within well-defined environments.